Okay, so Endeavor OS has a version for Raspberry Pi 5. Thanks very much to Tom Termchenbauer for letting me know about this. There's a GitHub page which he sent me a link to, and that has the images. You can see here, ARM images, and if we click on the releases here. So we've got a headless version, uh, but the one I installed was this one. So I downloaded this version, which comes with uh, the installer and the desktop interface. This is from two weeks ago. But you could install a desktop interface into the newer version if you wanted to. And while that's downloading, let's just have a look at what they say about it. So Endeavor OS is an Arch-based distro that provides an Arch experience without the hassle of installing it manually for both x64 and ARM, so you can use it on ordinary PCs and laptops. After installation, you're provided with a lightweight and almost bare-bones environment ready to be explored with your terminal, along with our home-built welcome app as a powerful guide to help you along. And it's a nice experience installing this. Now let's see if we've got Raspberry Pi Imager on here. Yeah, so if you haven't got Raspberry Pi Imager, actually I don't know how to do that with the Pac-Man installer. Uh, let's see if it's in the Discover Store. So if I type in Imager and hit return, oh yeah, Raspberry Pi Imager is there, so we can install that. Obviously if you're using Raspberry Pi OS or my own KDE Plasma build to do this, you'll already have Raspberry Pi Imager on your computer. Okay, that's finished. Let's close that down and we'll open Raspberry Pi Imager. So choose OS. Scroll down to custom, go into downloads folder, and you can see this is the download. And then choose your storage, and then hit next. I'm not gonna do that, because I've already installed it. So if I shut this down, I'll show you what happens next. Okay, so we're greeted with this Endeavor OS ARM installer. So install Endeavor OS ARM and all the usual location bits and we give the option of having no desktop or KDE Plasma which is my favorite desktop environment but we also have GNOME, XFCE, Cinnamon, Mate, Budgie, LXQT, LXDE and i3. I'm going to go with KDE Plasma because it's my preferred desktop environment and this looks very nice so let's hit next. Look at that, printing support, yeah we'll have that and I have an HP printer so let's go with next Pop your details in. Yep, yeah, everything's okay there. And we'll go with set up now. And we even have a QR code to be able to donate to the project. So let's come back when that's all done. Okay, so that's all finished. So restart now and done. Okay, so we're in, so let's sign in. So we're greeted with this welcome screen. So update mirrors, update system, AUR, and yay, package cleanup configuration, configure EOS update notifier, and Endeavor OS default wallpaper, logs for troubleshooting. We got tips and add more apps. That's quite nice to see. So you can see it's coming up with some suggestions audio players, Audacious, Elisa, browsers, communications, office. LibreOffice, Caligra, yeah, nice. Let's not worry about that for now. Let's, so let's click the change log. Preparing for KDE Plasma 6. I don't know if we've got KDE Plasma 6. Let's open the terminal, Control-Alt-T, and let's see if NeoFetch is installed. It is, which is nice. So yeah, desktop environment 5.27.10. Uh, KDE Plasma 6 has had a major update, but I don't think it's supported on ARM at this stage, but I'm sure it will be in due course. I'm not overclocked at the moment, and this is my 8 gig Pi 5. So the browser it's defaulting to is Firefox. Have we got Chromium on there as well? No, but obviously you can install it, and it suggested it earlier on. So all sorts of things are already on here. Image viewer, document viewer... KDE Connect, which comes with KDE Plasma, media player, two media players. Got the Discover Store, which again comes with KDE Plasma. Yep, so the Discover Store is coming up. Does it just to adapt to Pac-Man rather than apt? Uh, let's have a look. So if we do games, and we go with Super Tax Cart, and that's installing. What's cartridges? Launch all your games. Simple launcher for all your games. It's support for importing games from Steam, Lutris, Heroic and more with no login necessary. I haven't seen that before. Looks pretty cool. 
We can have a look and see if Dolphin is on here. Yeah, it is. And we also have a Dolphin MU fork for various Metroid Prime mods, but let's just do this one. Just see if that Super Tux has shown up yet. Oh, it's still downloading. It's quite a big download. The Discover Store is a nice experience. I have it in my KDE Plasma build, and yeah, I do use it quite often. So let's try Super Tux Cart. Let's try a battle. Let's get a weapon. All right, where are they? Oh, here we are. There's one. Oh, oh, the mine. Yeah, that seems to be working all right. I haven't changed anything. The desktop set to 1080, and uh, it seems to be coping with it. Mine right by the present there. Look. Okay, we're gonna get close up for this one. <laughs> yeah, happy with that. Right, let's try a bit of Dolphin Emulator. And I put a game in there. Okay, let's try a bit of Dave Mirror. Yeah, that's running pretty well. Do a nice big jump. Yeah, that's working fine. Okay, happy with that. So I mentioned before, because this is Arch Linux, I didn't know how to install Raspberry Pi Imager. It's not the same way as you would with Debian. But actually, under the tip section, under Welcome, it is uh, it's mentioned about package management. So if we click on that, there's all sorts of tutorials that are linked in here. And you can see here, so if you click on that, how to install AUR packages using Yay, how to use Pac-Man basic commands, and so on. And I think that's pretty cool. You don't often see that in Linux distributions personal commands, drag and drop, tutorial. Uh, it's got Windows snapping because it's KDE Plasma, so as you open up an app, so if I open up Imager, you can see that it will come up in the middle of the screen, but if I want to, I can pop it up into a corner, uh, or I can make it go to one side, or I can go full screen, which always looks a bit weird with Raspberry Pi Imager. And because it's KDE Plasma, if you want it to look a bit different, you can type in themes, go for global themes, and you can see here, this is the Endeavor OS one that's already applied. But if you wanted to change it, so say this Oxygen one, choose what to apply, and this looks like it's going to pick everything. And let's change it to this Oxygen theme. Obviously the background is wrong at the moment. But if we do configure desktop and wallpaper, then we could pick something that matches the theme more. In fact, that, that looked quite nice, that old tie. There you go, if you want an overall lighter OS. And another KDE Plasma feature is you can just start typing on the desktop. So if I start typing, say, Bluetooth, you can see it comes up, manage Bluetooth devices. If I want to do uh, something with the display, I can start typing display, and you can see we get all the options up. Uh, general settings works as well. And also you could say uh, Firefox for the browser and all sorts of things come up with that as well. So just a really nice feature and you can pin that to the desktop if you want to. You can see it's automatically showing me the updates on the screen here so I can just automatically go and update those. But also all the sort of unique Endeavor apps are in here. So if you just start typing Endeavor. But I don't know if you can go back and install another desktop environment or if you've kind of made your, I mean obviously you can do it manually, but can you do it after you've picked one? Because it'd be a good way of just trying out all the different desktop environments. Yeah, I can't see anything there. No, nothing in that one. Although loads of useful bits. Look, uh, browse for all Arch packages, browse for all AUR packages. So we click on that. That opens up a web page with all sorts of things that we can look for and install. Yeah, I can't see anything else about changing the desktop environment, but let me know in the comments if you found a way of doing that. Obviously, you could just reinstall uh, that download that you had before and then just pick a different desktop environment if you want to try something out. I mean, KDE Plasma is my favorite Linux desktop environment, but if you want to try out some more, then this is quite a good way of just trying it out on all of them. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.